Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Amanda, and today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to program out two different sounds to the M Audio Oxygen 49. Uh, this one is in room 47 in the uh, U of A recording studio, but if you have this at home, this is a way to program out using Ableton. So, what we're going to be doing is programming one sound out to the four octave keyboard um, and a different uh, sound out to the eight drum pads located in the top right hand corner of the keyboard. So we're going to launch up Ableton to do that. Um, you can already have a window open, which is what I have, or you just got to launch up uh, Ableton Live 9 Suite, and it pulls up this handy window right here. So um, like I said, we're programming out to the M Audio Oxygen 49. So we got to make sure we're getting the MIDI from the Oxygen 49. So uh, that will allow us, when we add a sound to this MIDI channel, it's going to allow us to uh, do that. So uh, we're going to select a sound, so go over to sounds, and there's all these different options. I'm going to go into the bass setting, and for this first one, uh, whatever you put in first is what is going to be on the keyboard. So kind of like this acid bass, it's got a nice kind of a higher pitched sound to it. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to drag it over to the MIDI, I'm going to let go of my keyboard, and it changes that MIDI track over to the acid bass. So I'm going to go and I'm going to lower the volume just a tad because it's nice and loud in here. Um, and when I play the keyboard right now, you're going to hear the acid bass sound. So there, there I am playing the keyboard. I can play all different octaves of the keyboard and get the acid bass sound. But also, when I'm playing the drum pads, I'm also getting the acid bass sound. And what we're trying to do, uh, what I'm trying to show you how to do in this video is to get a different sound to the drum pads. So we want to just have the keyboard, what I just played there, be the acid bass and have something different be the pads. You can tell the pads are a little deeper pitched. Um, so that's how maybe you can kind of hear the difference. But I'll try to say um, what it is that I'm playing before I play it. So now we want to um, create that different sound for the drum pads. So I uh, usually right click to the right of my last track and I do insert MIDI track. You can also use the key command there um, to create a new one. And again, we are getting the MIDI from the Oxygen 49. So that's how we do that. Um, and now we're going to select a different sound that sounds different from the, uh, the acid bass so that we can tell that there's a distinctly different sound that we're programming out to the pads. So I like this baluster field bass. It's very different. Like I said, the acid bass was very high pitched. This is very low tones. So click that and drag it over to our MIDI channel. Drop it in, it changes to the baluster. And now when I play the drum pads, we're hearing that deep, deeper sound, but it's not, we're not done yet because I'm playing the, the keyboard right now and I'm getting that baluster sound and we want the acid bass sound to be on the, uh, the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our first MIDI channel and under Oxygen 49 there's a thing that says all channels and we only want this one to be programmed out to channel one. Okay. So channel one is going to be out to the keyboard and then the all channels is what's going to go out to the um, the drum pads. And last but not least, for this monitor, we instead of going auto, change that to in, and it's going to turn this bright orange color and turn that to, it'll also be orange. And we're going to go back over to the baluster sound, our second MIDI track, and change that also to in. That's going to turn orange for both. And then when I play the keyboard, we have our acid bass sound. So wherever I play that, on the keyboard, on the four octaves, I'm getting the acid bass sound, but when I go up to the drum pads, I'm getting that baluster sound. So that is how you program out two different sounds to the M Audio Oxygen 49 keyboard. Um, this is, can come really in handy when you wanna uh, lay down a drum beat with the drum pads because they're very handy with uh, and they're touch sensitive. So right now, if I'm if I press the drum pad softly, you can hear it, but it's a little soft. But if I aggressively hit it. They've got a little bit more of a kick to it. So they are touch sensitive. It's really great for beat creating. Um, so that's really nice if you want to program out. Uh, I mean, you can always do basses, but there are plenty of sounds in here. Uh, if you look in your sound bank to get some nice uh, percussion instruments 
or voices or really anything that you want to do, you can program out there. And then if you also want to be recording maybe some synths or some strings or, um, you know, your, your chord progressions, um, it's nice to have both of those sounds ready to c- quickly work with loops or any other features that Ableton Live has. So yeah, that is how you program those out. And I hope you guys have fun with this and and use it uh, as a handy tool because I know this is something that I always like to do with my keyboard. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have a nice day.